Over the past couple of years, there's been a lot of positive noise gathering around Mycos in the United States. We're pleased to say it's landed here in the UK now, and we're going to test drive it with the harbinger strain of Heritage Tomatoes. We're repotting four seedlings, two with Mycos and two without. Repotting is the perfect time to use Mycos. It's a specific super species of mycorrhizae, a beneficial soil-borne microbe that attaches itself to a plant's roots and helps the plant collect more nutrients and moisture, like a giant sponge. They're just becoming juvenile plants, so we're going to move them to three and a half litre pots to allow a full and healthy root structure to develop. The seeds were planted in a 70-30 mix. 70% Plagron light mix and 30% perlite. The Plagron already contains some perlite, but we've added the extra to ensure excellent aeration during germination and early growth. We're going to repot them into 100% Plagron light mix. Begin by half filling the larger pot and then create a centered space to receive the seedling. Now, place two scoops of Mycos into the space and with a cupped hand to avoid crushing the seedling, carefully invert the pot and ease the plant and growing media into your hand and place immediately into the space you've created to receive it. Now cover the plant. We're using a transparent cup to protect it while you fill it. You should fill the larger pot so the soil rises to three to five centimeters under the rim. Now, get your plant under blue light. We're using a Euro reflector with a 400 watt Sunmaster metal halide lamp, rated at 7,200 Kelvin. It's running off a Lumatech dimmable ballast, in turn controlled by a Maxi Switch Pro, set to 18 hours on and six hours off. Mycos helps reduce plant shock when repotting, but we'd still recommend feeding straight away. We're using an Azos solution to help give the roots of our tomatoes a head start. Azos is a natural nitrogen fixing microbe that increases the plant's production of IAA, Indole 3 acetic acid, a naturally occurring plant hormone which beneficially affects cell division, growth rates and overall plant and root development. Here, we're just checking the pH. It's a little high at 6.3. So we're just using some pH down to nudge it down to 6.0. Optimal for nutrient uptake for these young plants. When you're delivering the feed solution, please be very careful not to get any of the liquid onto the leaves. The intense lighting will magnify through the solution and may burn the leaves. You can see how these pots are marked, two with Mycos and two without. We'll be checking back in a few weeks to see how these tomatoes are getting on. Don't forget to subscribe so we can let you know how much of a difference Mycos makes.